Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube uh, channel for the or playlist for the practice lessons for Adobe Illustrator CC. Uh, this is lesson 3.1. We are going to discuss today the line segment tool and let's get started. So I'm going to go into Chrome and I'm going to paste the download file and I'll put this in the uh, description below download it to my desktop then I can unzip that file and now it's sitting here on my desktop so I will just double click it to open it fit it in the window and here I have a whole bunch of lines okay the previous uh, lessons have all been about selecting things and using existing objects that are already on the screen this and all subsequent lessons are going to be adding and drawing and using the uh, the tools that are in the toolbar to help you to draw and create objects uh, to compose your artwork on the uh, the artboards so with that said this first one is the line segment tool and with it we draw lines that makes a whole lot of sense I'm sure so the line segment tool is right here on the toolbar if you have the wider version it's right there and in order to get it you need uh, you can either click on that there and you'll see a crosshairs or if you select the backslash key on your keyboard and this is where I think Adobe got it backwards so because the icon looks like a forward slash and the backslash is the opposite direction so that's the the key that the, that we're using and now of course the reason that they can't use the uh, backs or the excuse me the forward slash as their shortcut key for that is because that's for the no fill or no stroke um, function of color so we have to use the backslash sorry Adobe got it backwards we just all have to deal with it all right so let me put the art or toolbar back the way it was I've got my line segment tool selected and let's see what the instructions say use the line segment tool to draw straight lines first click and drag a line then release the mouse to end the line easy peasy all right, so draw some lines below to match those already on the page. So I can start here, and again, you click and drag. So I'm going to go down to this point and then release. And you can see I have a black line right there on top of that blue line that was previous. For this case, I think you may want to have smart guides on and you may also want to have snap to point and there's a reason and you can see as you get near the area where the beginning of a line is it makes it a whole lot easier to follow those lines so just like the lesson says this should be easy peasy so click and drag and again it doesn't matter which direction you want to drag your line as long as you are drawing those lines and I'm using the mouse and so the mouse you're going to use uh, you're going to press the button the left button to start the line and then drag the mouse to where you need to end and then let go of the mouse switch over to the stylus if you happen to have one and this is a little different so instead of clicking anything with pressing down on a button we actually press the stylus into the tablet and drag and then when we let go is where that line is uh, defined so yes whichever you prefer my uh, tablet or stylus pretty easy here I'm gonna set that down and let you uh, continue and for now uh, just uh, pause the video and then when you finish drawing all the lines then catch up to me and we'll go to the next section 
Okay, when you're done, as always, you can either scroll using the scroll bars to the right, or, excuse me, scroll to the right using the scroll bar at the bottom, or use the navigation of the artboards in this area. All right, so we are on the next section, and in this section, we're going to draw some lines constrained to the horizontal, diagonal, and vertical. So using the line segment tool, and hold the shift key to draw lines constrained to perfect horizontal, 45 degree diagonal, and vertical. Easy peasy. All right, so draw some lines below to match those already on the page. So we'll start here, and after you start to drag your line, hold down shift, and it'll either go straight horizontal, vertical, or diagonal. And so we want to follow this diagonal line to the bottom. And then when we get to the bottom, let go of the mouse button. Whoops. My graphics were a little messed up there. I'm going to undo that. So start to drag, hold down Alt, or excuse me, Shift, get down to the bottom, and then let go. And it's still, oh, my graphics are just funky. One more time. Sorry, thank you for bearing with me get to the bottom and there it is. Okay, same for all of these lines. As long as you're holding down shift after you start to click, then drag the line out to the end and then release and then let go of shift. Easy? All right. So again, uh, once you've filled up the, uh, drawn the lines using the holding down shift to complete these. Once you're done with this part, we'll continue the lesson by scrolling to the right or clicking the next page button. Okay, so now we're going to draw some lines from a central point. Now this is a little different than the last section, so we're going to hold the Alt or Option key after we start to draw the line. So you'll, you'll start at the center, hold down Alt or Option, and pull, I'm sorry, Alt on a PC, Option on a Mac, and drag the line out from that center point. So here we have what looks to be the center of these, the intersections of these lines. So I'll start there, and I'll start to drag, and then I will hold down Alt, and as you can see, it pulls both ends of the line out, and so I get to that end point and let go. We'll do the same right here. Again, holding down Alt after we start to drag. Let go of the mouse button first, then let go of Alt. Start to drag, hold down Alt, let go after we reach the end, then let go of Alt. Start to drag, hold down Alt, let go of the mouse button, then let go of Alt. And you'll do that for all of these objects. Until you have a whole bunch of these thin, spindly little star shapes on the, on the uh, canvas, the artboard. And just remember, start to drag first, then hold down Alt, get to where you want to go, let go of the mouse, and then, not don't let go of the mouse, but release the mouse button, and then let go of Alt. Okay? So finish those, and then catch up to me again. Okay, when you're all done, let's go to the next artboard. And this time, we're going to hold down both Shift and Alt, or Option, to draw lines that begin from a set central point and also constrained to perfect horizontal and vertical and four to five degree diagonal lines. Again, easy peasy. Let's follow the lines below. So, as you start, remember to start at the center. Ignore that, <laughs> that was a click. <laughs> start from the center, start to drag out, and then hold down both Shift and Alt until you reach the end point, let go of the mouse, and then you can release both Shift and Alt. 
This way you're guaranteed to make sure that the line is where you need it to be. So holding down start to drag first, then shift and alt. And you can do those in any order after you've started to drag the line. So start to drag the line, shift alt or alt shift and then release the mouse button first and then you can reach the other two keys on the keyboard and just keep going that way and now of course you can always with the line segment tool it really doesn't matter if you do the if you hold down the excuse me if you hold down the buttons first or after you start to drag. However, as we get into some of the other shapes, if you're in the habit of doing the shift and alt after you start to drag, it'll make life a whole lot easier because the uh, some of the other shape tools will require that action to happen after you start to drag the shape. Otherwise, if you accidentally click on it and move, then you could be making a copy of it. So anyway, there's that. Um, so thank you for uh, this or your participation in this lesson. And I will see you again soon on the next one.